Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Sublime Text Text Editor on a Windows operating system. So let's begin. Now to install Sublime Text Editor, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar, just simply search with Sublime Text Download, then enter. And then you'll be seeing this www.sublimetext.com is basically our first search result. So just simply click on download sublime text and it will going to redirect you to this official site of sublime text and here you can see that sublime text 4 is also released. So you need to just simply click on sublime text 4 and it will going to take you to sublime text 4 download links and here you can see that it is available for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. Now depending upon what operating system you are using you should you know choose those links and for windows it is also available for portable version so you can also install portable version by just simply clicking on this but i'm going to use the main installer so i'm going to click on windows and it will going to start downloading our exe file right so what i'll be doing is i'll be just you know simply clicking on this installation file and you can see it is asking for administrative privileges so just simply click on yes and it will going to open our sublime text installation wizard so let us first minimize our browser and this is our installation destinations that is c program file sublime text if you want to change your installation destination you can easily do that by just simply clicking on browse and you can change your destination I'm going to keep this default and then just simply click on next and you can see that it is currently asking whether you'd like to check this add to explorer context menu I'd like to check so that in you know our explorer context menu we can see sublime text and then just simply click on next and you can see that it is ready to be installed so just simply click on install and it will going to start extracting our files and then going to finish up our installation so you can see it is a very small file so it will going to install at a very rapid pace and you can see it is rightly installed so just simply click on finish so now we know that our sublime text has rightly installed you can easily open your sublime text by just you know simply clicking on the search icon and here you need to just simply search with sublime and you can see our sublime text is rightly shown over here so you need to just simply click on to you know start uh, launching our sublime text and you can see our sublime text has rightly opened over here so this is our you know latest build that is they are showing what are all improvements that they have made you can always read that i'm going to close it now i'm going to show you one trick that is what i'll be suggesting is is to right click on this you know sublime text and then just you know simply pin it to tags work so what happened is like if you have you know worked something and then you closed you can easily open your sublime text by just simply clicking on this link that you have set in our taskbar not by searching here again and again right so that's one thing this is a uh, file that i was working previously so i'll just simply close it now you'll be getting this interface once you open sublime text so you can easily you know open any folder or you can create any new file so I will show you how to you know open directly a folder inside your uh, sublime text itself. So here you can see that in documents I have I was you know making some videos on C programs then so all those you know uh, folders are rightly here Python scripts is also there. So you can choose any folder that you are currently working on or you can also create a new folder like just you know simply click on new folder and here you can you know just simply type projects or anything like just give a folder name then just simply select your folder and you can see that folder has rightly selected over here so you can also create a new file by just you know simply clicking on file then new file and you can see new untitled file has rightly opened now you need to save it so save as it will be saved in our project directory so let's save this file as uh, index dot html and you can see it has rightly saved now let's say you want to create a html document so just simply type it html and you can see that our boilerplate for html has rightly created over here 
So how you do that? First you need to save it, then just give an angular backhead, HTML, then select this HTML, then just hit enter and you'll get a boilerplate, right? So here yeah, let's say you want to, you know, uh, show something in our screen like uh, hello world let's say just simply end with uh, that ending paragraph tag just simply go to file sorry you simply uh, go to file then save and it has rightly saved then just simply right click on it and then just simply click on open in browser and you can see our hello world has rightly shown in our browser right so similar way you can you know, also create you know PHP file or C program files or Java anything you can do using our you know text editor so for PHP you need to install PHP for that I have already made a video again I will be putting that link in the description for C you need to install C compiler right so Minji W compiler how to install it I have actually shown a video very detailed video on that for Java also I have shown you how to install JDK so you can again you know watch that video if you want to you know use sublime text as editor and uh, for java programs so that also you can do right so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please give it a like and also please do share with your friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all